Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we are looking at the Corsair Force 3 120GB SSD. SSD stands for Solid State Drive by the way. Here's the small box. Once again it's the Corsair Force 3 120GB 2.5 inch solid state drive and there's a picture of the drive itself. And on the back of the box there's a description in different languages. But now let's open it up and see what we get. There we go, this is the SSD on top and a 3.5 inch adapter is also included for desktop PCs. 2.5 inch drives are used in laptops and netbooks, so if your laptop supports SATA 3 you're good to go with this drive. As you can see it's a very nice 3.5 inch adapter. But now let's open up this package and here is the SSD, but first there are two different types of screws included for the adapter mounting, which is very nice of course to include. And here's the SSD itself, it's very small obviously, just like every other drive in that form factor and it's also very lightweight. SSDs in general should be very reliable and should perform a lot better than traditional hard disk drives. Now to the specifications, the Corsair Force 3 120GB SSD offers 120GB of capacity and features the Sandforce SF-2281 controller and also features the asynchronous NAND technology. The drive uses the SATA 6 gigabit per second interface and should reach up to 550 megabytes per second on sequential read and up to 510 megabytes per second on sequential write. This drive draws 2 watts at max and 0.5 watts on idle. So now let's move on to the benchmarks. This is the test system I'm using. Here in Crystal Disk Info it of course detects the drive without any problems. You see it's totally healthy and the temperatures are low as well. At the time of this video the latest firmware is installed and there are no errors to see. First I ran the Add a Disk benchmark because that's what Corsair uses since it's very accurate. I'm using the default settings here and got pretty good results. The last graph is what counts for me in this benchmarking tool. You see the read results are around 553 megabytes per second which is a little bit higher than in the actual specs, but the write results look a little worse. Instead of 510 I only got around 496 megabytes per second which is 14 megabytes less. But yeah the results still are very good compared to other SSDs and that price range. Next one is Crystal Disk Mark. You see the sequential read and write results seem pretty good, but they are different compared to the previous Addo benchmark, but that's normal. You see sometimes depending on the task the performance drops to like 32 or 57 megabytes per second, but I personally am pleased with these results. In case you'd ever decide to benchmark your SSD, please don't use that tool too often since it can hurt SSDs and shorten the lifespan. Here in the S SSD benchmark we get totally different results again. They seem a lot lower but once again you just can't compare one benchmarking tool results with another. The sequential results are around 200 megabytes per second on read and 140 megabytes per second on write. The overall score combined for this drive is 408 which is not bad actually. The last tool is the annual storage benchmark which is a nice tool and gives a tool score to compare. You see the results look pretty good, the response is fast, high IOPS and the transfer rates really show that this SSD performs really good for the price. Here you see the separate read score and below the write score. The total score of this SSD is 3808.97 which is higher than the competition. So far this drive turns out to be a pretty good value. But now let's move on to the Windows Performance Index. The base score went up to 7.7 .7 from 5.9 which was the lowest score because of a hard disk drive. That's definitely not the case here since the SSD scores 7.9 in Windows which is the maximum. So yes you will definitely notice a difference in speed while working in Windows. Another great fact is that this SSD or these drives in general boot up a lot faster. I'll go ahead and show you how fast it actually is with my startup applications. Before installing Windows on the SSD make sure the SATA mode is set to AHCI instead of IDE to get the best performance. Also some motherboard BIOS versions have problems with SSDs in terms of write results. To solve that issue turn off the C3, C6 state power saving features in the BIOS. There we go, as you can see the applications are starting up very fast to keep in mind that I have a heavy antivirus called Kaspersky Pure on startup. So my startup time is 14 to 15 seconds which is very fast compared to the hard disk drive. The Corsair Force 3 120 GB solid state drive is truly a fast and reliable drive that has the right price. Of course you only get 120 GB of capacity but still for the price you get immense performance which in many cases outperforms the competition. For people that don't like noisy HDDs this or SSDs in general are very silent. Pros are great price performance ratio, great overall performance, then it's very silent and is designed very nicely. 
For the cons I have nothing to say at all and so I give this SSD a 10 out of 10 and definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.